Hi, I'm Jan Ozer. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate the features and capabilities of vMix Go, a professional live production system with streaming and recording, which was provided by this video's sponsor, VideoGuys.com. vMix Go is a complete, portable, live production studio powered by high-quality AJA hardware with up to eight SDI inputs, or six inputs, with two live outputs. A four-input HDMI-only version of the Go is also available. Also included is professional audio connectors and four removable SSD bays to hold recordings. The unit is powered by vMix Live Production Software, a mature and robust program in development since 2009. vMix is designed and written by an actual event producer with a premium on ease of use and efficiency. Here's a quick overview of operation. Here are all your inputs in the input bar. Each program can have hundreds of inputs that you can organize with the color code shown here. Click any input to queue it in the preview window here. The preview window obviously shows what's queued to go live. Click any of these transitions to take it live. This is the output window, which is your live or program feed. Here's where you control audio, with controls for each input and a master. Here's the footer bar, where you click buttons to add inputs and set up and start and stop recordings, streams, and external outputs. The program's input capabilities are very extensive. To create an input, click the Add Input button or drag and drop content from your desktop. Use video for disk-based files. You can input as many files as you'd like or build a playlist. You're not limited to a fixed number of DVRs. Camera is where you access devices connected via SDI. I have one for this demo. Note that you can create a virtual input for any input. With cameras like this one, that means you can define one full resolution shot for presenting the video full screen and one tight shot, say for a picture in picture. This adds a lot of simple flexibility to your productions. Desktop Capture inputs the screen from any computer on the same local area network. This input is from my notebook. Stream is for a live stream, while Video Delay is another name for instant replay. I'll show you more about this in a moment. Images is where you would input an image for a logo overlay, or image sequence for a slideshow. Photos inputs multiple pictures from the same folder to create an automatic slideshow. PowerPoint files import directly into the project. You can see that I'm accessing the individual slides in the preview window, which I can also do when the file is live. That's a unique feature that makes it simple to incorporate high-quality PowerPoint files into your projects. Audio input is for microphones, soundboards, or other devices connected to the I.O. panel. vMix comes with a titler with lots of presets, and you can buy more from the vMix site, or create your own. vMix ships with virtual sets you can use with the program's GPU-based green screen function, and vMix is compatible with third-party sets. You can also use virtual sets to create your own compositions. I use this blank set to create this picture-in-picture -picture webinar template with a custom background. Here's the background in Layer 3, the virtual input close-up in Layer 4, and the PowerPoint file in Layer 5. You can adjust the color and positioning of each layer individually. Let's quickly touch on a couple of additional features, starting with Instant Replay. Start by choosing Video Delay, and then choose the Source, Resolution, and Codec. Then choose the number of seconds to record. Let's go with the default 20. By default, Record is on, which means vMix is recording a rolling 20 seconds of video. When something happens that you want to display as an instant replay, click Stop Recording. Then cue Instant Replay in the preview window, set the start point, and the playback speed down here. Transition it into the production, and it plays. 
transition back to other inputs when instant replay is done. To start recording again for the next highlight, click Record. vMix is working on a full sports management instant replay solution slated for release in March 2015. vMix makes it simple to automatically insert input feeds from Twitter, Facebook, and IRC chat into your productions. These are injected directly into titles, which you can overlay over other content. This adds a nice sense of interactivity to your productions. The four included overlays are the vMix equivalent of downstream keyers for producers who have used traditional switchers. Note that you can configure the size, position, and transition effects for each overlay. To apply an overlay, like this title, just click the appropriate overlay button. Same thing with this video guy's bug. Click again to remove the overlay, or click the button on another input to replace the overlay. Note that you can add an external monitor to your vMixGo by connecting the monitor, choosing the desired view, and clicking full screen. When you finish your configuration, you can save it as a preset by clicking Save Preset. This lets you save and recall multiple configurations for the various projects that you produce. Here are the controls for recording the live output of your event. vMix works with third-party codecs and recommends the free Grass Valley HQX Intermediate Codec for maximum quality and cross-platform compatibility. The multi-quarter lets you record any or all of your input cameras with similar configuration options as a feature known as ISO recording, usually reserved for higher-end systems. vMix can stream live to any RTMP-compatible server. Here I've created a preset for YouTube Live. I've got pretty good bandwidth here, so I'm shooting for 1080p at 5 megabits per second. Producers can even create streams at multiple bit rates. OK, so now I'm ready to go live. I'll click Record, Stream, and Multicorder to start recording the live output, the camera input, and to start sending the stream to YouTube. Since vMix uses both GPU and CPU to process the event, total CPU usage peaks at around 19%, leaving plenty of overhead. When I'm done with my production and back in my office, I can edit and output the recorded footage on the computer. vMix includes a full version of Sony Vegas, but if you prefer Premiere Pro or Avid, you can install that as well. And that's it. Overall, you'll find the vMix software exceptionally functional and refreshingly easy to use while offering features that rival systems that cost two or three times as much. The vMix Go hardware offers affordable and portable HDSCI connectivity in a powerful platform you can use for live productions, editing, and more. vMix Go ships in three different versions, Base, as you saw here, Plus with bundled storage, and Junior, the less expensive HDMI version. For more information about the vMix Go, contact this video sponsor, VideoGuys.com, at 1-800-323-2325. I'm Jan Ozer. Thanks for watching. VideoGuys.com is your source for streaming media and live production equipment, storage, and video editing hardware and software. We have specialized in video editing and production for more than 25 years, and our technicians are available to answer your questions and help you find the best solution for your needs and budget.